Hi, Hugh. You're asking about the A noodling. Um, in general, if you think of the four fingers as, you know, each taking their own fret, and I'm going to refer to the, the barring finger as the one. So, for example, if I'm doing the two on the second string, and then the three on the third string and the fourth string. Now, I'm showing this as static notes where you're hammering on. When it gets a little bit faster, it's... becomes, you know, a molded sort of thing. So, um, you know, even I could play I could play that as single notes or I could just if I was strumming along um, or another great example of this would be uh, going down the road feeling bad. It's E, D to A, E to D to A, to E, C sharp minor, E, B, E. So if I were to sing it, I know, feeling bad, going down the road, feeling bad. This is where the riff would go down the road feeling bad low low don't want to be treated this way so the riff will go So that's really just the strumming with a Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Okay, so going back to the A form, um, wherever, whatever chord you're doing, whether it's an E on the, you know, when you refer to the full bar D, a lot of people say, okay, it's a seventh fret E. But because I'm doing this as my leading edge, I call this this the ninth fret E. Um, so whatever fret I'm on, I can almost always get away with a, f and again, I'm going to refer to it by finger position, four, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one. Often though, I'm finding for most of the happy songs I play, a lot of the, you know, uh, I know you writers and, uh, friend of the devil and China cat and, uh, you know, for all that kind of thing, a lot of the ones also 
feature the the uh, second string, second finger. So if you had to practice one thing, I would say start with a with an A form chord, and and first just hammer on just that 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 one finger. Then add the third uh, finger on the third string. Oop, I can't help myself. So, you know, a lot of this, um, if you start with just a very mechanical, or I'll do I Know You Rider for a second so you can see how it is in, in D. And so I'm going to do D, C, G. So, bar on the seventh, bar on the fifth, bar on the twelfth, so. So um, on this, I'm just all I'm doing right here is I'm on the third, on the fourth string, I'm doing just the third, which is open, ham, you know, open, you know, the uh, bar, third finger, open. So I'm doing the same thing on all three, you know, 9, 7, and 12, just so you can see it. Then you would add a little bit. interesting thing by the way what happens to me is I will be doing something that I'm very grounded now you see at this point I had to go to that note because that's what it felt like but I'm off of my pattern of knowing where I am on the next chord you know the That's why if you can just at, at the end of a of some kind of riff. Just know that where what chord you're going toward and just suddenly go to it. So a lot of times I'm in the middle of uh, impassioned lead and I get to some place and then the next note just obviously resolves, but I'm off of my, you know, pattern. So now I'm I'm kind of nowhere. I guess I'm in this G. I'm, no, I'm in. Where would, what would I be in? I guess that's part of the D. Yeah, it's this part of the D. Um, 
But I use uh, the... Uh, I'll let myself get off my beaten path uh, when I'm in passion, but then just pick it up the next chord. Sorry, I got a little bit uh, into my own headspace there. Anyway, hope that answers some of the A questions. If not, Hugh, just do another um, uh, reply and I'll see if I can elaborate on it more.